King on the dance floor tonight. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Weymouth After Dark, the talk show from Massachusetts and the world. Tonight, we have an especially exciting show for you. You remember the Scopus trial. It feels like just yesterday, 1925, Dayton, Tennessee. A uh, sensational trial. The first one ever broadcast on the radio that pitted the state of Tennessee versus a young 24-year-old educator who taught the theory of evolution in school. It caught the attention of the country, and tonight there will be a dramatization of it, Weymouth After Dark style. As always, I am joined today by Joe. There he is. Hi, everybody. Good to have you on here. It's good to have you on here, too. Joe, here as well. Yes. Tell us a little bit. How have you been? Uh, actually, I haven't been very good lately. You, ha you haven't been no. doing too well. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep or anything like that. I've been... I've, I've been reading those those things, uh, R.L. Stein, Goose Dumps, and uh, they've been scaring the heck out of me. So I've been having a lot of sleepless nights. I mean, don't knock it, man. It says it's for kids, but I'm telling you, those things are intense. What, what are you doing reading kids for? Don't, don't you read any adults? Yeah, I mean, there's all these adults who are reading, like, Gary Shandling in the Chamber of Secrets, so I can't read uh, Goose Dumps, you it's know? Not Gary Shandling. Harry Potter in the Chamber. Anyway, fine, fine. Uh... What have I been reading? I, 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 I was reading some D.H. Lawrence recently. and Is that the movie with Peter O'Toole? No, no, no. no our Wait. friend D.H. Lawrence. Right? My friend. I was reading it, and there was a passage that caught my eye that actually reminded me a little bit of Weymouth After Dark. That passage talked about how Lawrence said that the poet deals with the future and the past, but not the present. The poet usually looks to the past or to the future. He compared the present to a lake that, where the water is shaking the moon. The present is too much in transit, and we cannot always see clearly then. Only when the water has settled and you can see the reflection of the moon on that lake, that is a perfected past or the, or the distant future that the poet looks forward to. And similarly on Way With After Dark, we do the same thing. Unlike everything else on that televisional wasteland, Wings After Dark is brought to you by the truth, and sometimes it takes...